Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how you can create realistic textures using pen and ink. These textures will be some of the basic ones, but the technique that I am about to show you can be applied to basically all. So every material has its own texture. Some are rough, some are smooth. You can tell that by touching it. That's the one way of recognizing it or by looking at it. We can recognize the texture by looking at it because the light gets reflected from the materials in various ways depending if the texture is rough or smooth. So combine these two senses. Firstly just look at the texture you want to draw and then touch it and feel it. So I've prepared nine rectangles for nine different textures. As I said, these will be just the basic ones. First I will create texture for bricks and mortar in between them. So as you have probably seen and touched bricks, you can tell that they are rough. There are lots of bumps and bulges. So we have to recreate this on paper it's not really hard, just watch me do it. Next texture is stone wall. Now this texture is the roughest of all on this list, so you can see a lot of bumps and imperfections. Also you can see that the top of the every stone is light and in between every stone is really dark. This will give us the illusion of this texture being 3D. Coming up on the next texture, this is also a stony one, but this time you can find it on the ground. This is the texture for pavement. Now it is also rough, but not as much as the previous two.
fourth texture on this list is for wood. You can see this texture when you cut the tree vertically. Next are leaves. In the previous video I told you not to draw every individual leaf, but this time we will do it. Because if you want to understand leaves from far, you have to firstly understand them from close. So just draw them one on top of each other and then shade them underneath. Sixth texture is for bark. This one is from oak tree. Coming up on the next, we will draw planks with nails. This one is easy. You can just grab the texture from the fourth one, scale it a bit down and apply it on every individual plank. Now let's draw the eighth. Scales. Now the problem with scales is that from far they look and feel pretty rough. But every individual scale is really smooth. So the process of drawing these will be very similar to rolling leaves. Also I have drawn these to show you that you can use them to texture snakes.
and the last one are bricks again, but with plaster on top of them. This texture is very useful for creating all structures. Now damaged plaster is usually variously bent and full of cracks, so try to recreate that for the realistic feel. So that's it guys, these are the textures I wanted to show you. I hope that you have enjoyed my little tutorial, if you did leave a like or comment. Please subscribe for more of these awesome videos. So until next time, bye bye.